This week's edition of Dig Nation is brought to you by TradePub.com, GoDaddy.com, JPEG Magazine, and General Mills' new women's cereal, Count Cocula. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dig Nation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is Southern, in it's Southern California, and I have fruit. You put zombie and you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. That is a little crazy. Hello and welcome to Dig Nation number 85. I'm Alex Albright. And I'm Kevin Rose. Dig Nation covers some of the weekly top stories on the social news website, dig.com. That's D-I-G-G-E-A.com. That's right. And we are here at Park Chalet. I can never tell. Are we in the park part? Or are we at the We're beach close. part? We're close. The park's right there. No, but isn't one down Park Chalet, one's up Beach Chalet or Yeah, whatever? that's Beach. This is Park. Okay, so... Beach is close to the beach. Because uh, I know park. where I am. Uh, yes, so we're here at Park Chalet in oh. San Francisco, California. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh. There you go. Wow. I, it's a very beautiful city. Yes. Uh, I've been here many a time. Uh, and we are doing a live episode of Dignation, which we're very excited right. about. Right, and Discovery Channel's here. Discovery Channel's here. Yeah. What? Why would they be here? What? All right. Because we are awesome. At least that's what I keep telling we, people. We need shots for Discovery. Be like, drink, 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 get Discovery, Discovery all trashed. They're like, we can't film anymore. <laughs> yeah, that be. Come on. It'd be really great. The segment would end with the camera just like, <laughs> I'm down with that. That's awesome. As am I. Uh, so, beers. Yes. Uh, as we did last time, Park Chalet has a, a uh, multitude a whole, of beers uh, that they brew themselves. Yes. This uh, is the, uh, which one is this? The Riptide Red? No. No, we did a light beer. Uh, the VFW Light. The VFW Light. I don't know. It was Kevin's what? choice. No. Kevin. <laughs> oh. Kevin's choice. Don't Kevin's put this choice. On me. You're the one that wanted no. to start a diet. We talked about this. What? We're both, we're both thinking about like thinking cutting about a little it. bit of beer out. Yeah. Uh, I saw the Dan Marino down. diet and I was like, oh, that'd be good. We don't what? know yet. We don't know yet. All right. All right. Maybe not. Maybe we won't do it. All do right. you remember when we were in the car, Kevin, and I said, that's not to mention that on the show. <laughs> This is why. That's right. Can we get a little pissed off? Kevin Rose, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. Kevin Rose. All right, well, let's get this bad boy started, shall we? Uh, first story, Penny Arcade accepts SCEA President Jack Trenton's Find a PS3 Challenge. 2,654 people dug the story, submitted by TWTMC. Uh, in a recent interview, SCEA President Jack Trenton claimed that he would pay a $1,200 bounty on any PS3 system found on store shelves. Wow, that was really stupid. So Penny Arcade, whom we have been fans of for a very long time, very long time. Went, well that sounds like easy money, Jack Trenton, you dirty bastard. So they literally put up this, this image of each of the pictures of the PS3s that they found. The first one, they said $2,400, uh oh Jack, two at the Best Buy across the street from our offices. And then it said 3,600, uh, the Target upstairs from the Best Buy had one as well. And then it says the Circuit City had one, but they wouldn't let us take a picture unless we bought it. We laughed. Ha ha. So they're racking up the money every single time they find yeah. a new PS3. The next one, they're up to $7,200. Toys R Us across the street from those two stores had two, but they harped that they wouldn't be a picture until we took, bought one. And again, they're not going to buy them. Uh, 9,600, the, they found another Target down the street that had at least two... Uh, and pictures, and then it said this undisclosed specialty game retailer had three systems, uh, and then it has a little cute little cartoon that says, one hour and 11 systems later, we are $13,200 richer. And it That's said, awesome. Yeah, it says, I know, it says, and then the other guy says, when we get the money, we should get a couple of Wii's. So who has a PS3? I gotta know. I gotta they know. don't know what they're cheering for. Who they're has a PS3? Holy That's shit. That's like two. That was like two. That was like two, right? Two, two PS2s. Who has right. a Wii? <laughs> nice. Who has a oh. 360? That's about half and half. That's yeah. interesting. We were playing the Wii today. You're hooked. 
We were playing uh, Dude, WarioWare. Yeah. Wario. The that new is Wario. awesome. Who has WarioWare? WarioWare. Is it not Dude. good? It is really good. You throw in the darts, you're doing blowing the elephants. Great. <laughs> like, <laughs> blowing no, I mean, the elephant. <laughs> you're not blowing the elephant. You got to get a Wii. You'll notice. It's fun. It's a family fun game system. That's what <laughs> it is. You blow the elephant. You know, yeah, the family you blow fun. elephant. Whatever. It's very difficult. Uh, anyway, but get some. Uh, they should have like they should have knee pads and elbow pads called Wii pads. Huh? No. Wii pads? Oh, no. That's horrible. That's all right. That just uh, fell 50, flat. 50 brilliant. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> uh, okay, so cool. So I gotta say, Sony, man, EA just uh, took ship. They were like, oh yeah, bad idea. We actually said we should support the PS3. It's all about the PS4. They're getting beat down. Yeah, come on. Come it's, on. This time around, they don't have it, right? No. Yeah, I think this might be their Dreamcast. Are we should o- be like, hey, we're PlayStation. We we make video games. That's exactly for, what it is. For other people that are better. I was over at my us. friend Jack's house that has a PS3, and he played a Super Audio CD because it has a built-in Super Audio CD player. Sure. So I'm like, oh, let me hear the difference, right? Puts it in, puts it in the standard CD. You can't tell. Well, I'm sure Jack can tell. He works for Dolby. Well, yes, he can. Maybe he can. Yeah, I'm sure he's like, can't you tell the subtle titty tones <laughs> and the higher treble? But and the slight lower tell. busty ball sack? I don't know. That's terrible. I'm in, I'm in a weird state. Next story. Next story. Gates Hello. dares anybody to exploit Vista. Oh. 2,656 people tell the story. It's by Populist. Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates talked to Newsweek Magazine Steve Levy about the new version of Windows and shared right. his views on the I'm a Mac television commercials. Oh. Uh, he goes on to state that he dares people to basically hack the system Every month. He's like, if you can create a hack that yeah. exploits the system, he's like, it's not going to happen. He's like, do it, do it, and then we'll totally patch it, and then it'll be awesome for That's two what he days. Said. That's exactly and what he we'll said. do it again. It'll be brilliant. Well, well, I he, say, well, well, what else is the guy going to say? Okay, well, here's what he said. Yeah, please don't touch the system. It sucks. Like, I mean, come he go, on. He said, nowadays, and security guys stuff. break the Mac every single day. Now, I love that Bill Gates is talking shit about the Mac. Because finally, I, finally, we he's, talked about, we no, talked finally about he's pissed off yeah. enough to be like, all right, come on, yeah. Mac. Yeah. For the longest time, he's like, I don't even know what that operating system is. I've never yeah, heard yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now no, he's, he's finally talking shit. So that's good. But, so, uh, so that's the whole thing is he just basically said the gauntlet is down. I don't know if I think that's such a great idea. <laughs> Well, he says, you're referring to the fact that we actually have some security updates already for Vista. He goes, this is the, actually the way it should work, meaning that you should have to patch your system. He's saying that's he's a saying good that, thing. That we pre, that he's saying that they preempted, that they're like, right. they internally find something, before, patch it before it's exploited, which, rather than the other way around. Which is cool. I mean, I know there's a lot more hackers that are looking at Vista than there are OS X. Well, there's, it's, it, who, who are you hacking? You're hacking 5,000 people. I mean, right. Of course you're going to hack Vista. It's the most used... But it's true. I mean, like, if I'm a, no, seriously, if I'm a hacker, I'm going to attack the most predominant operating system because that's Absolutely. the most effective I can make my stupid little thing <laughs> that pops up a window and says, ha, it's my birthday, fucker, and then goes away. <laughs> Dude, don't. Galileo did it. Or what was, the, what was the guy who did it back in the day? Remember the, like, 90s? Magellan or whatever. There was, like, a Galileo. Anybody? Uh, it was a bad. It was like a, the, one of the first viruses I got hit with. <laughs> Nobody remembers this. Who gets hit with viruses? Magellan. Magellan. The Magellan go. virus. And it was like it's Magellan's birthday. Yeah, I'm 12. Oh, I remember that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. That was cool though. It hit me, dude. It hit me. I was like, yeah, God damn it! It's Magellan's birthday every day on my computer. It now. didn't do anything. It was a friendly virus. There's friendly and there's destructive. Dude. Yeah, What's but now the destructive people have started to get smart, and they put up a little thing. They're like, ha, you have a virus. No, oh, don't worry. We're just here to say hi. And at the back end, they're, like, downloading porn and sending it to a massive, you know what I mean? Like, all your credit card information is going away, and they're like, we're just here for friends. I don't know. Who, who keeps their credit card information on their computer? Nobody does. No, that's not what I mean. I'm tired of people being like, my credit card information was down. Who keeps their credit card information? Do you? Have you ever bought anything online, yes. credit card-wise? Absolutely. I do it way too often. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, it, where am I? I don't even know. But it's Milwaukee? not on my computer. It's not on my computer. It's on the website. Yeah, well, if I see that little lock, I'm in. Yeah, exactly. As that's long why, as the lock's there, why, it's all good. Yeah, that's why fishing works so well. It's just a JPEG image of a, of a clock, or like a little lock. A little lock there. It's like a lock. It's secure. People see a lock, and they feel happy. So I don't know. I, I'm happy he's getting fired up. I still haven't got Wind, uh, Vista yet for my uh, I have systems. a copy of it. I told you to you could borrow it. I have it, it, but I want to get my full-on, full-on, because well, I'm not a pirate, Kevin. Well, the nice thing about the pirated copy, and I'm going to say this... Because I don't have it installed myself. No, I have a Mac. There's not Vista on here running in parallels. No, it's just it at wouldn't home. be on no here. Worries. It's just at home. It might be, uh, <laughs> but 
I will say, the nice thing is you can install it for 30 days and then go buy a real version and put in your serial number and you're good to go. So, yeah. thank you to the pirates. Yes, thank Those you. Are nice pirates. They're like, yeah, they're like, dude, you know what? We'll give you 30 days, even though they don't def definitely don't want you to have 30 days. No, that's what Microsoft is saying. They'll give you 30 days. Oh, well, then what? That, they don't how let is you that? That is not that. That is beyond the definition of pirating, Kevin. But that if micro if you go to Microsoft and download the software, no, no, no. you're like, I'm I'm a pirate. <laughs> Free software for 30 days. Pirate, pirate, pirate. I didn't That's get it from Microsoft. No, no, they don't give it to you from Microsoft. You have to go and pirate it, kind of, and then you have 30 days to put in a real this serial is a number. This loose description of yeah, pirate. Yeah, I know. It's weird. But a pirate is jumping onto somebody's car on the freeway with a patch on your eye and taking the car. Right. That's a pirate. That's right. What's a modern fire? Uh, okay, brilliant story, Kevin. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, next story, Comcast. Oh, this is not cool. Comcast admits bandwidth cap 200 gigabytes a month. And... Wow. Yeah, we heard, I heard Unlimited when I signed up. Now I hear 200 gigabytes. Wait I a go, second. Who's I, downloading more than 200 gigabytes? Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. What? What are you doing? Dude, so many. They don't know. They didn't. <laughs> Even the bartender was like, I am. And he's like, like what I, the fuck? I, I rent movies online. <laughs> and he's like, hey, I'm poor uh, beer. Okay, and it's a moving target. That's what they say. So 3,649 people dug the story submitted by Jay Mo. Comcast also claims people who hit that moving target could be doing so for purposes like illegally downloading movies, oh, music, bullshit. and other copyrighted material. Now, here's the situation. I went through and read. Basically, what happened was a couple of people were getting bumped off of Comcast. They were losing their connections. And they were going, well, why the hell am I losing my connection? I, I, why would it go down? And they're going, well, you've been banned. And, and they're like, well, how, what, how, what, what could I have been banned for? And it turns out they're saying, well, you've hit some caps, you know, blah, blah, blah. So this guy went in and started a, a, a chat with one of the systems people, you know, the little IT guys in Comcast, and right. said, is there a cap? My friend got bumped out. Is there a cap? Do I have to worry about this cap? What's the deal? And the guy said, yes, there's a cap. <clears throat> it's 200 gigabytes or around there. They would not print a hard number. Dude, 200 so gigabytes guy, is a pretty... It's a lot of... I mean, it's a crazy amount of I mean, of I do a little bit of Azarius, no, like, I know. No, I know. action, but it's, it's not 200 amount. gigabytes. I do a lot of that stuff. I know you do. Almost all of my shows that I watch and movies that I watch come from... Places. Do you think we'll get arrested someday? I mean, we are saying this to like 200,000 people. You know what? People. I hope you get arrested because that would be so good for our you, show. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? Like, people, people would be like, hey, you're that guy who was on the internet that got arrested. And I'd be like, dude, I totally work with that guy. As long as I don't go to prison, it's all well, good. Yeah, true. But so here's the thing that I'm going to say. I don't agree at all with the fact that they do this, that there's a rolling target, that people who have high bandwidth get cut off without even knowing why. I think right. that's horrible, especially if you, you know, if you, if you come out saying we have unlimited bandwidth. Right. I just think that's shady. But I will say, this guy got him into this sort of roundabout speak. The guy, I mean, basically the guy said, well, why don't you tell people what that number is? And he said, well, if we tell people what that number is, they'll exploit the cat. And the guy... I mean, I don't know who did this, but he couldn't comprehend how that would be true. And he kept going around, and I was like, dude, you don't get it. If somebody is pirating shit, they would have a little tracker and go, okay, that was 199 gigabytes. Stop till the first right. of the month. But I'll tell you. Like, that's what they're worried about, you know? When I first started with Comcast, though, you remember back when first DSL and cable modem came out? It was like 5 gigs, 10 gigs. Well, DSL cable seems... modem is sort of redundant. It would be a cable modem. Or DSL. DSL is telephone. Right, Keep but going. it's still high-speed internet. Yes, high-speed internet. Right, yes. and they locked you out at about 5 or 10 gigs, right? Yes, yes. Initially, at the yeah. first launch. So I can see how they have to put caps eventually, Look, but... I, I get it. They My shouldn't say unlimited. You're absolutely they, right well, there. Well, they shouldn't, they shouldn't legally be allowed to say unlimited if there is a cap. That's what I think. Right, right. And I know, but, but I think the guy was sort of a little off track when he started... Because half of the email... I mean, the guy was very straightforward from Comcast. He was like, uh, yeah, it's 200 gigs. Hey. And, then he, and then he kind of tried to get like... Well, but wait a minute. I'm trying to post a blog entry that's going to get people incensed. Uh, why don't you advertise that? And he was like, because uh, people would exploit it. And he was like, that doesn't make any sense. Blah, 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 blah. So then the, ha so like, the majority of it is just this guy trying to rev this guy at Comcast up. 
And I kind of feel like well, they don't. Of course, they don't want to post it because if it's what if it's two fifty, you're gonna do just under right, two fifty. Right. Wait right. a month, just under two fifty. So anyway, wait a month. Comcast sucks, and yeah. moving on. I don't mind. Com- I don't. I don't. I really don't mind Comcast. They bought Tech right. TV. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, well, that. Yeah. No, no, no. That's not cool. Oh, you had an empty glass. You I guess so. Bad, bad man. All right, your story. Next story. Have astronauts ever had sex in space? Oh God, I hope so. One thousand eight hundred twenty-two people died in the by Im Tai. If ad- if astronauts have had sex in space, it would be very difficult. First off, there isn't much privacy there. All A right, regular shuttle that. is about as big as a seven thirty-seven. Has two main areas. That's pretty big though. That's pretty big. The you crew can sneak cabin. Away. like five. And right. the middle area and a small office. The bathroom is a little more than a seat with a curtain, and there aren't any closed rooms. So, what about the satellite deck? The little, the like double doors. You, you can't can get go all, outside. Like, and then the doors open, and the sun comes up over the top. No, no, no you can't go outside. Damn. Anyway. So, the only Dude, that'd be pimp. the only couple to ever go in a space trip is. Take a look at this picture right here. I really hope they don't have sex. So they. <laughs> If they have sex, I don't want to know about it. So, uh, there was a married couple that actually went up into space in the 1990s, and they're saying that if anybody ever had a chance, it would be them. Uh, married couples aren't going to have sex in space. Although, it's like the guy who's like the commanding pilot, and then the little science officer who's like, oh, what are we doing? Yes. Maybe yes, we, we should check the temperatures of Mars. Right? That's who's going to do it. What? What? What are you saying? Temperatures and alarms. The temperature of Mars. If you went up, you an idiot? If, if you went up, would you go with, with, if with your girlfriend? Yes. No, you wouldn't. No. What was the question? Everybody else is around. You're in the cabin. Dude, I would have to be like, all right, y'all have to turn the fuck around because I'm gonna be the first dude <laughs> to bang some chick in space. Absolutely. And my girlfriend would be like, fuck yeah, turn your fucking. I don't even know if I need him to turn around. <laughs> That'd be one of those special occasions where you're like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But I gotta do this for all of you out you there. You gotta do it! Come on! You'd be Who the likes, biggest pimp dude, ever! The like 50 mile high club? Are you kidding me? Yeah, uh, absolutely. That'd be awesome! All right. But there's gotta be some weird Russian guys that have been like, yo, so I banged lots of chicks in space. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, thank you. Uh, absolutely. David, David's totally been Dave like, Dave like, fuck yeah. I went. That's awesome. All right. So probably. Probably not, but... Oh, come on. You would. Know. Everybody would. I would. Dude, Airplane? everybody would. Airplane? Not yet, but I'm not excited Not yet? About it. You suck. I'm excited about it. I can't wait. All right. Next story. <laughs> dude, a commuter plane is just so... Not just, commuter. International flights, man. So a, non, a non-commuter They have big bathrooms. Flights. Do they not? They have big bathrooms, international flights. It's all about dude, the large... Dude, it'll be great. You'll be going to London. You can bring somebody back. No, no. All right. Next story. Best... Oh, this salsa boils my fucking blood. Uh, Best Buy secret... As so much I spit everywhere. Uh, Best Buy secret employee only website website shows <laughs> different <laughs> prices from the retail site. Maybe it doesn't... Maybe it's sort of like whatever. I don't know what that means. Wait for it. 4,596 people dug the story submitted by Steve Dynamo. Have you ever found a deal on a Best Buy website only to travel to the store and find that the sale is over? Yes. Did the Best Buy employees show you proof on their website? It now seems Best Buy has two websites, an internal website that is displayed in all stores, and an external website that has specials to bring people to the store. Ah. So the whole thing, and if this is true, Best Buy, you've lost my business. No, 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 no. No, what they're saying is that Best Buy will have online specials that are not mirrored on their intranet, so that when you show up and you're like, wait, that Canon camera is only $150. You're like, well, no, that, that stopped three days ago. And you're like, three days ago, I was just at home like, 20 minutes ago. Well, maybe your computer's off. Let's go over here to the interweb and check out bestbuy.com tilde idiot. And then you look up and you're like, no, yeah, yeah, that camera is $5,000. Well, I really wanted one and I'm here, so maybe I'll just go ahead and buy one. That's fucked up. How fucked up is that? I'm not going to lie to you. What? That that should be illegal. Thank you. Yes, thank you. That's right. Nobody chants. (laughs) 
We're, but the problem with that is, if you leave Best Buy, where are you yeah. going, like Circuit City? Like, what's your backup? Costco? What? Well, but... You need dude. a backup. Fries. Fries is the shit. Fries is the shit. Fries, is the fries shit. won't do that to you. But they don't have fries in other no, no, states. No, no, shit, shit, shit will break. At hostel, re- hostel retail. Hostel retail! <laughs> Somebody's writing a website on the window in, in breath. I don't know. It says mm. something. Uh, yeah, so, th- so, but if this is actually true, if this is practices that they have, how fucked up is that for a big corporation? It's right? fucked up. I mean, that is beyond fucked up. Best Buy is a, a shady... I, so but I, I like... I you, worked at Best Buy. A, you worked at Best Buy? Yes. When I was 16, I worked at Best Buy. I, com- I repaired computers in the back. We did some shady shit, yeah, man. Yeah, no, I you know. You get discounts. Everybody gets, like, near cost. Best Buy was fun, though. Dude, I'd totally work at Best Buy. Nothing wrong with Best Buy. I buy a lot of stuff there. Although now, so what this what this article said was they said, hey, listen, just be smart. Bring a printout with the date and when you printed it out and all that stuff saying, Here, here's the freaking thing. Don't right. be a douchebag. Uh, or leave. When they say that, leave, go home, order it online, and just pick it up at the store. So that's what I do. I order yeah. it online and then go to the store. But they screwed me. I, I ordered Gears of War when it was like in yeah. high demand. Went yeah. down there, and they didn't have it. So... What? That sucks. Yeah, they said they had it, and the I went down there. Gears of War was awesome. The day before it was released, they had like that pre-order release thing, mm-hmm. and I just walked into an EB Games, and I was like, it was like seven or eight, and I was like, is there any way I can get a copy of Gears of War? And the guy was like, yeah, some asshole didn't show up this morning to pick it up, so good luck. Nice. And I was like, holy, dude, this comes out tonight. I was like, yeah. That's good shit. I, I love Gears play, of War. I gotta play more of that. Next I've been story. stuck on. No, I've been stuck on Burning Crusades. I got into WoW a little blowing, bit, but... Oh, dude, it's been blowing all my time. Anyway. I gotta go back. All right, next up. Real quick, uh, next story. A new smart dig this buttons for your website slash blog. 1,934 people dug this story. Submitted by myself. Uh, this is the new enhanced update to the people that have dig this buttons on their mm-hmm. website. There's like over 200,000 now, and we just want to let everybody know that there's like new smart buttons. So I like smart buttons. if you haven't actually, uh, you add a little bit of JavaScript into your site, and if it hasn't been submitted to dig, it'll say dig this and submit it to your site. If nice. it has, then it displays the dig number and allows you to dig it right there. Oh, cool. So that's like the new smart this dig buttons. Not a big story, but we just wanted nice. to let you know about it. Uh, which is also awesome. So go to uh, oh, get, dig.com slash tools to get the new smart buttons. Nice. Okay, good. Put that on your sites, people. Let's, let's Next story is huge. This is, dude, breaking... Colon, although it probably was broken a while back, but still breaking now to us. Guitar Hero comes to the Wii. This is huge because this fucking game is so addictive. So addictive. Uh, okay, so 3,064 people dug the story, submitted by Alf Pogs, which are awesome, and I collected them. Uh, that's right, Guitar Hero on the Wii. The announcement has been transcribed from the Activision conference call from Wednesday, straight from CEO Mike Griffith's mouth also. I don't know what also means, but I guess it's there. Uh, So basically, this is one of those things. I mean, I know we talked about the PS3, but this was a big deal. When it broke that Guitar Hero was coming to the Xbox 360. Oh, that's huge. I'm going to buy it. was huge, because Guitar Hero is the reason people bought PS2s. I actually had friends that bought an Xbox 360 and then went back and bought a PS2 when Guitar Hero 2 was released. I mean, it's like one of those games. You know oh, what I know. Mean? But uh, now to announce the fact that it's going to be coming to the Wii is unbelievable so because this game is is perfectly designed for the they're Wii. They're selling a guitar though, right? You're not going to yeah. use the mode. No, no, no. no. You right, get that's it. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although you might be able to do it with the Wii mode, but I doubt Maybe. they would want to do that. You get a guitar because that's how you play that game. Yeah. Are you going to get it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I loved it on the, the, the original PlayStation, but... Um, have you played oh, Guitar yeah. Hero? It's awesome. Oh, dude. So addictive. The guys from Jinx sent me two of them just to play with. Sent Thanks us to Jinx. Two Thanks, of them. Sean. Thanks, Sean. No, no, no. He sent, sent me. Uh, dude, you did. that. He, he, I, he emailed for, me and was, was like, did you get thing. my, did you get for, my thing? <laughs> and I was like, what thing? Dude, when is the Wii Sex game coming out? No, I was playing, I was playing uh, the Wario game, and I'm sitting here like seesawing something, and I'm like, there's got to be something coming out with that. You know. Don't put this on me, no, Kevin. There'll, there'll be like a strap-on, no, and you like plug Kevin. it in. Kevin. What? No. Why is that a bad thing? Do not strap it. Because you can just go with the I Wii. I get the idea. And then, and then like at the very end, you can just pull it out and just like. No. 
Come on! Come on, there would have to be some sort of receptacle. Everybody's thought about it. <laughs> I'm just saying! It's going to be... Well, maybe it it's won't come be, out. <laughs> it's not going to come it's out. It's going to be crazy. You should start that company. No, no. We Sex? Or yeah. how about We Could Wee? you imagine? Ah, oh, this guy created That's, Dig. He's doing We Sex games now. That's not going to... Whatever, dude. No. You make a lot of money. I'm not going to lie to you. You anyway, know, you played good. it today. You know what's up. Yes, but I wasn't. I was. <laughs> you were. You I were sawing the wood. Elements. That's it. <laughs> That's all I was doing. Nice. All right. I I believe that was the last story. What the? We just. Well, yeah, about that. About That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Uh, so let's hit the sponsors real quick before we do emails, which are going to be awesome. Yes. Uh, so Trade Pub. Can get you your get free tech right journals, tech magazine subscriptions. They have some really popular and cool magazines. Available like Dr. Dobbs Journal, E-Week, Software Magazine, Q, Information Week, and Internet Telephony. Telephony. Uh, plus tons more. Sign up today and get any of them completely free at dignation.tradepub.com. Yes. And JPEG Magazine, if you haven't seen it, this is the mag right here. Yeah. Uh, it's a photography magazine made for you. What they do is they basically you can submit your photos to the site, yeah. rank them, and the best ones actually get inside of the magazine. <laughs> oh, well, look at that shit. That's JPEG. That's uh, one of the computers. All right, the computer. all right. That is JPEG magazine right, right there. there. This uh, is why you want to get a subscription. <laughs> Hello. Our sponsor is going to be like, Use why did you show the porn? I know. Why did you show porn? It's not a porn site. So go to uh, jpegmag.com slash subscribe slash dignation. You'll get 10 bucks off your subscription. Yes. If you're into digital photography, this seriously is an amazing magazine. Yes. Check it out. JPEG, JPEG. magazine. Yes. Uh, also, we'd like to thank GoDaddy.com. Uh, wait, we're, we're going to throw shit we're throw later after we out. close everything up and people won't die. Uh, get uh, $96 in free extras with your domain from GoDaddy.com. Each domain includes free hosting, a website builder, free blog, complete email, and much, much more. Plus, enter the code DIGNATION when you check out and get your .com domain name for just six ninety five dollars a year. Some restrictions apply. See site for details. Get your piece of the internet <laughs> at GoDaddy.com. Emails. Emails. I know. I got a, uh, a, a picture email. All right. So my web is down, and I had the email pulled up, but it refreshed All itself. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Blah, I blah. All I hear is blah, blah. I didn't. Blah, blah. Didn't. I didn't. Uh, so we have some guys here. Oh. that are doing some beer pong that are hitting some beer pong you can do that one <laughs> uh, and, and the, I love the email it's very concise Andrew rocking it just says beer pong is the shit love you guys Andrew <laughs> what? we don't know how to play it but it you sounds fun you don't know how fun. to play beer pong? how? what? <laughs> beer pong this you how do you play it? I will tell you and you will be fucked up and loving beer pong. I'm already fucked Dude, up. Dude, beer pong for the Wii. Awesome. How does it work? It's like, whoop. Oh, fuck. Whoop. Oh, dude, awesome. you got to tell me I call it Beirut as well. Although I don't think that's PR at all. But, all right. Uh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, P Beirut, yeah, Beirut on the West Coast and beer pong on the East Coast. Or the other way, whatever. Uh, so thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it. Rock on. Keep beer ponging. Hopefully you're over 21, although it doesn't look like it. <laughs> I'm just going to hope that you are. <laughs> All, All right, right that's it. You oh, you're done with emails. All yes. right, that's it. Thank wow, you, everybody, yes. for coming out. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming out. All right. Big Nation, live at the Beach LA in San Francisco. That's I'm Kevin right. Rose. And I'm Alex Hobbick. Until next time, beer fucking pong. Yeah. Woo! Thank you.